a local 62-year-old cardiologist who's been cancer-free for nearly two and a half years, recently came back from climbing Summit to the Summit, one of the tallest mountains in the world. Fox 23's Elizabeth Rodeal has the story. Dr. Arthur Martin of the Hattiesburg Clinic became a triathlon athlete in his 50s, and at the age of 59, he even completed a full Ironman. After that, my brother talked me into doing obstacle course races, did three Spartan races, all, all three distances, so I could get my trifecta medal for a Spartan race. Unbeknown to him, Dr. Martin was training for the full Ironman with tonsil cancer. It was during the end of that season where I started having lymph nodes enlarging in my neck. And, and I thought I must have lymphoma, but I went ahead and did my last race of the season before seeing a doctor and having that checked out. And it turned out to be a metastatic cancer from my tonsils, squamous cell carcinoma of the tonsils. He went through three doses of chemotherapy and radiation. Well, I, had, I was off work for five months, and I went from being an endurance athlete to lying on the couch. But it was his first dose where he lost his hearing. But with a hearing loss and, and, and more ordinary sounds being exaggerated, I, I couldn't watch television. Uh, my head was too foggy to read, and music, which has been the love of my life, was gone. It just screechy distortion. Despite losing his hearing and endurance as a triathlon athlete, Dr. Martin decided to not set limits on himself and climb the top of Mount Kilimanjaro with his twin brother and their daughters. On that last night, uh, the first hour of hiking was not just walking, uh, it was scrambling up mountains and it was, it was more rock climbing than it was hiking and I was gasping for breath. He didn't wear his hearing aids the entire climb. Something about being in the natural environment of the mountain, it was a cool, calm, uh, quietness of the mountain and I didn't want to, uh, it was, the, the sound was, in a, the artificial the sound was an abomination of the natural sound. It took Dr. Martin five days to get to the top. He managed to reach the summit on his birthday. I got within 100 yards of the summit and I really couldn't stop the tears from flying. Mm. It was very, very emotional. It was very moving. It, it, it was the, one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life, actually. As far as climbing to the top of another mountain, Dr. Martin says he'll play it by ear. Elizabeth Rodo, Fox 23 News. Dr. Martin says since going through cancer, he's got empathy for his patients and says his patients are what keeps him going every day.